Hey everyone, so we're here with an acne update. It's been forever, but a lot has happened in the time that we've been gone, so... Yeah. I'm gonna start with Amy because <laughs> she has the most, like, progress. I've, like, had none, so let's just go to Amy. Okay, so we kind of failed on doing the whole weekly videos, but... Um, I'm in my, I just started my last month of Accutane, and my lips have sucked this whole time. Um, Chris, you might be able to insert a video. They're actually really good right now, but that's really awkward. Also, okay. <laughs> um, like, they pretty much swelled, like, to twice their size, and my dermatologist said it wasn't normal, but it went away in a few days, but they, when I was filming the videos, um, a long time ago, like, at the beginning, my lips were just dry, and I didn't realize there was a difference between dry and chapped. And they've just become so red, and like, they feel sunburned all the time if I move. Like, talking like that, this feels fine, but if I t accidentally touch them, or like, squeeze them together, it hurts really bad, and I just keep everything on it. They've given me Dr. Dan's and stuff. And then, um, as for my skin, <laughs> it's been worth it, obviously, because... I haven't really had a breakout in the past, in a month or so, so um, I talked to them and they said that they won't put me on another month, so I'll just be on it for six, or for five months, and so yeah, I'll finish in mid-July, which was later than I thought, but I've like forgotten to take a few pills, so <laughs> it kind of like stretched it on a little bit. So that's Amy's update, she's been on action forever. <laughs> and now for me, so the last time I talked to you I was taking this medicine called minocycline and honestly it did nothing. Like I took it for like a month and it didn't do anything and it's an antibiotic and so I didn't want to keep taking it if it wasn't going to do anything because I didn't want to become immune to it. Um, and then also I was using a topical called Epidio and I use that every once in a while. Um, I noticed some difference with that, but then again I didn't notice a big difference in my skin. Um, <laughs> let's get as close as possible. It's just the same as it's been, like getting the bigger cysts on the jaw and little ones all over. Um, hey! <laughs> my sister's getting up close. Anyway, so I haven't really had that big of a change with my skin, which I'm kind of disappointed, but I'm just going to keep on doing what I do which I wash with 5% benzoyl wash at night and like a morning burst in the morning so that's my skin update and okay I also wanted to say for anyone on Accutane or who's going to go on it um a lot of things get dry that I didn't realize would um like my nose like that's another new thing is I have to put like just like an athlete's foot on her nose. Well, yeah. The side of my nose cracked, and it looked like it, I had an athlete's foot there, which is really painful. But, um, and then the inside of my nose, too. I put, like, Vaseline every night, or else... It, it hasn't bled, but it just hurts to move my nose, so... <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's our acne update, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be, but we'll see ya. Bye!